your son John Jr. is an accomplished artist in his own right. He's got a huge following. I'm sure you're incredibly proud. You didn't hire him for his first job at Marvel. That's right. Uh, Marie Severin did it. I, I, Why not? Why didn't you hire your I son? was terrified. A lot of my colleagues, not a lot, a few of my colleagues had sons and daughters that wanted to be an artist and would be given a shot. Most of them failed. And I, I figured if my son tries to get into comics, I know he could draw, but he wouldn't let me see his drawings for a long time. When, when I did the first Daredevil, number 12, he started drawing. He never showed me for like a couple of years. I never, he would never show his drawings to me. He said, they're not good enough. All I knew is that if he ever got into comics and failed, it would be a wall between us. I wouldn't be able to talk about comics in the house. It would be a, a, a downer. And I just hoped he wouldn't do it because I didn't want to take that chance. Now, I'm grateful that he did it because he had the guts to do it. He didn't care. And by the way, he did take a lot of flack from wise guys in, in the office. One guy told him if his name wasn't Romita, he wouldn't need me be working at Marvel. And he took it on the chin. He, he didn't punch anybody. He just smiled his way out of and it. And John's a big guy. <laughs> and, and he could have laid out the guy who said that, I'll tell you that. Now, I'm very proud. Let me tell you, I'm more than proud of him because he didn't have to be a, a, a carbon copy of anybody. He was himself from the day he started drawing. He says he was trying to draw like me. It would, never came out like me. It was always him. And that is something very important because most of the failures were the guys that could do a drawing like their dad, but not anything else.